Welcome to the second part of our time series data preparation tutorial. In this video, I will use NumXL to examine the stationary assumption for IBM stock prices. To start, I've downloaded the IBM stock closing prices from January 3, 2012 to the present date. Now let's run the summary statistics for the adjusted closing prices. First, select the NumXL tab. Now click on the summary statistics icon. Select the closing prices located in column G as the input time series. Note that the current selected cell is used as the default output range. Leave this unchanged and then click OK. The descriptive stats table has been generated and it is now located in your worksheet. Now let's compute the weekly moving average and the exponential weighted volatility or EWMA. Type WMA in the formula to compute the moving average. Click on the button to the left of the formula to activate the function wizard. Enter the closing prices as the input time series. For the time order, enter 1. For the window size, we'll use 5 trading days or 1 week. Leave the weights, W, empty for equal weights and then click OK. WMA returns an array or range of cells. To display them all, select the range of cells, Hit F2, then press and hold Control, Shift, and Enter. Now the array values are shown. Notice the italic braces around the formula in the formula bar. Now reformat the output to currency. Now we can compute the exponential weighted volatility, or EWMA. For the first entry, type NA. For the next cell, use the final closing price. Type EWMA and launch the function wizard to the left of the formula bar. For input data, use the TSSUB function to subtract the mean from the input time series. Fix the mean cell reference. For time order, select 1. Then take the default values for lambda and t. Copy the formula to the next cell. Edit the formula and then hit F2. Now change the input cell range to include all prior closing prices. Copy the formula to all cells below it. Now reformat. Let's plot the closing pricing with the moving average and the exponential volatility. Select the three columns. Switch to the Insert tab. Click on Line Curve. Now we see a graph with three curves. Move the curve to the side and reformat it. Examine the output graph. Notice that the daily volatility looks stable, but the moving average is rather trendy, or moving walk. The process is not stationary. Now we can repeat the same steps, but for the daily log returns. First, we need to compute the log returns. We use the diff function, the logarithmic closing prices, as an input. Specify a time order of 1 and a lag order of 1 for differencing. Notice that the first value in the return array is missing. As we did with the WMA function, select a range of cells, hit F2, then press Control, Shift, and Enter together. Now compute the WMA and the EWMA as we did with the prices time series. Now compute the summary stats for the daily log returns. Switch to the NumXL tab and click the descriptive stats icon. Now select the return cell range as the input time series. Keep the default settings in the dialog box. Then click OK. Now the summary stats table is displayed. Select the returns, the WMA, and the EWMA cell ranges. Switch to the Insert tab, and select a 2D line type graph. The graph plot is now displayed in your worksheet. Let's move the graph below the summary stats and then reformat it. Note that the daily log averages show a stable moving average and a relatively stable volatility. We can suspect that the time series is stationary. Take a look at the summary stats table and notice that the sample mean is not significantly different from zero. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, be sure to email us at support at spiderfinancial.com.